Hello everyone, welcome. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Power Space Second Live Stream. Hi, hi guys. Hi. Hi everyone. Hello. We're going to wait for the other people's coming. So hello everyone. Welcome to Power Space Second Live Streaming. I'm your old friend Jeremy. Well, last time we just have a very great time in Paris Bay where we're playing killing game and we have a really fun night. So today, we will also play killing game if we have enough time. But before that, we are going to have something exciting to do. So anyone can tell me what are we going to do tonight? So I think we will tell some ghost story. Exactly, but not 100% right. So tonight, we will share some ghost story and we are going to play a game called Situation Puzzle. So anybody heard of this game before? Anyone? Um, do you mean we need to ask you questions and guess what the truth behind your story? Mm, yes, lovely, yeah. You're right. So like I will set up a story background and there is a mystery in the end. So what are you going to do is to keep asking me questions to solve the mystery. But I will only answer your question with yes or no. It's like every question you ask me will be a small piece of puzzle. So what you're going to do is to put every piece of puzzle together and restore the whole story so you can understand what the result in the mystery. So let's try the first round and you will know how to play. Okay? So let's find a seat, please. Everyone, let's find a seat. Mm, I will be sitting here. Okay, here is the first story. The stories begin. On the first day of the school, a young girl was found murdered. Police suspect four teachers and question them. They were asked what they were doing at 8 o'clock in the morning. So here is the record. Teacher 8, I was driving to school and I was late. Teacher B, I was checking English exam paper. And teacher C, I was reading the newspaper. And the last one, the teacher D, I was with my wife in my office. The police arrest the killer. And how did the police found the murderer? Anyone have questions for this? Anyone? No? Repeat again about the story. Okay, I can repeat the story again. I think. Okay, uh, so on the first day of the school, a young girl was found murdered. The police suspected for four teachers and questioned them. They were asked what they was doing at 8 o'clock morning. And the first one is teacher A. He said, I was driving to school and I was late. The second is teacher B. He said, I was checking English exam paper at that time. And teacher C, I was reading the newspaper. And the last one is the teacher D. He said, I was with my wife in my office. And the police arrest the killer. And how did the police find the killer? Mm, that's quite a hard one, I think. So, uh, so does the girl know any of these teachers? 
because this is the first day of school, so they never met before. So no. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Does anyone know? So, are there any tips for this story? Yes. Uh, I think the first one might be a bit difficult to you guys. So, I can give you guys some tips. And the tips will be: the girl was murdered on the first day of school. So listen carefully. First day. First day. First day. Yeah. So, which things is unusual for the first day of school? Think about it. Hmm. Let me check. Let me check. Check. Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm late. Welcome. No we are guessing the we are guessing the puzzle game, puzzle story. What am I missing here? Can you say that again? Sorry. <laughs> you can read the story on on the left side on the chalkboard. Sorry, I don't see anything because I just entered. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So again, Jeremy. Okay, I need to repeat the the story again. So, on the first day of the school, a young girl was found murdered. The police suspect four teacher and question them. They was asked what they was doing at eight o'clock. So the first one is the teacher A. I was driving to school and I was late. And teacher B, I was checking English exam paper. And teacher C. I was reading a newspaper, and the last one, Teacher D, I was with my wife in my office. The police arrest the killer, and how did the police found the murder? And the tips will be, the girls was murdered on the first day of school, first day. Oh. Oh, I think I think I get the I get the point. So 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 you said, you said teacher, teacher B was checking English exam papers, but it is the first day of school, so there is no examination. Oh yeah, that's very right? smart. Yeah, that's right. But you are a little bit okay, too late because right. I'm already saw someone in the live streaming already give give us the right answer. So really? the answer, <laughs> yes. So the answer will be B because there's no one doing exam on the first day of school. So、oh, teacher、okay. B is lying. So that's why the police know he is the murderer. Oh, okay, all right. I saw Arno here. I saw our old friend Arno. Yeah. Hello, Anno. Come and sit with us. Hello, Anno. Nice to see you again. Please take a seat. Nice to see you again. So, how do you guys feel about the puzzle? You feel that's interesting, or you feel a bit too difficult to you guys, or boring? Interesting. Yeah, I think we、okay, can get another one. Okay, if、yeah. you guys like it, let's try one more. Okay, <laughs> let's try one more. So, yeah, yeah. Listen, the story will be: Stephen was walking down. And suddenly, he heard a woman screaming. Please, Jack, don't kill me! A shot rang. Stephen ran into the room. In one corner, laid a dead woman with a gun. In an in another corner, stood a postman, a lawyer, and a doctor. Stephen looked at them, approached the postman, and grabbed him. I will arrest you for killing this woman. In the end, it was really the postman who killed this woman. But how could Stephen know that? Um. Anyone? Give us some time. Give us some time. So I'm checking the story. Okay, I might read a bit fast. In the chat box. If、yeah. you guys want me to slow down, please let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please, please repeat the the story again. Okay, so 
Stephen was walking down. Suddenly, he heard a woman screaming. Please, Jack, don't kill me. A shot rang. Stephen ran into that room, and what he saw, in one corner, lay a dead woman and a gun. In another corner stood a postman, a lawyer, and a doctor. So there's three people there. And Stephen looked at them, approached the po the postman, and grabbed him. Said, "I will arrest you for killing this woman." And it was really the postman who killed this woman. But how could Stephen know that? Mm. Is the doctor called uh, Jack? No. Mm, the killer, the killer is the postman. So I think the postman name is Jack. But are there any name bar on postman's body? No, there nothing's on the on their clothes. There nothing. Hmm. Mm hmm. And Stephen never met them before, so they don't know their name. Anyone in the live streaming room can tell us can tell us the answer. Is the accountant a woman? Yes, she's a woman. Oh. So, so are there are there only one male among these three people? Yes. So as I mentioned before, there are three people in that room. So I'm gonna give you guys a bit more detail about these three people. The postman, the first one, the postman, is a 35 years old man, wearing a yellow uniform. The second person is the lawyer, a 28 years old woman, with a white shirt. And the last one is the doctor, a forty years old woman with a black suit. Okay, I think we have the answer right. So who is the killer, and why? Why? Stephen, no, the postman is the killer. Yeah, I think so, Judy just said about that because mm -hmm. all, all, I mean, there is only one male. Among the three people, so because because um, Stephen just heard uh, uh, Jack, don't kill me, something like that, and mm -hmm. there is only one male there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. only the postman is a man. So, yes, yeah. you guys correct. The postman was the only man in that room, and the lawyer and the doctor was woman. So that's why Stephen know that because the woman screaming, Jack. Don't kill mm -hmm. me. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why you guys smart. I think Judy yeah. is smart. Okay. She just said the answer. <laughs> I can I cannot feel that this game. So do you guys want another rounds or just want to go to our next part, this ghost story part? It's up to you guys. I think we can have another round to have. Yeah, fun. we can use another one. Okay, yeah. so I give a guy a short one. A pretty short one, and hopefully this one um, can be easier for you guys. So listen, the story will be: a woman is watching through the window and see a man with a knife. However, she does not have enough time to call the police before being murdered. And why? So think about it. If you if you if you saw someone outside holding a knife, and your house is fully secured, you should be able to have time to call the police, right? But she yeah. didn't. She 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 did she didn't call the police because she don't have enough time. So why? Is there a another person behind the woman? No. There's only two. There's only two people in this story. One is the woman, and other is the man standing outside. Does the man have a special tool? 
No, just only with a knife. So he don't have gun. Of course, he don't have gun. I know gun can do that. Do you know the answer, Anno? Or someone can help in the the live streaming room. Is the is the window locked or unlocked? Is the window opened? The house is fully secured, so the door and the window is all closed and all locked. Okay. Is the door open? No, they all closed. Interesting. Okay, guys, too late. Someone is keep. Someone already figured out what was the answer in the chat in the in our live streaming chat room. Oh. <laughs> so let me tell you about That's the answer. So actually, what the woman really saw was the reflection of the murder. So who was already inside her house behind her? So when you look at the uh, window, okay. so. He saw a man oh. standing there, but actually, that was the reflection of the murder. So the the the, the murder actually just standing behind her. So that's why he get killed, get murdered in a second. That's interesting. So okay, okay, I didn't get it. That's the that's the why the, the the answers, and I wanna ask if anyone has prepared a horror story that you want to share with us tonight. Because we, we are a horror story night, right? So it can yeah. be your, your own experience or it can be something you hear from somewhere else. Anyone want to share? I do have one. It really happened last night. Oh, really? So last night... Did this I happen to you? Did it happen to you? Yeah, it did happen. Or maybe oh, okay. it didn't happen. But I mean, it's a horror story. Okay. okay. So last night... I was sleeping and then I woke up and heard my cat was playing with my boyfriend in the living room. Mm -hmm. But in the second second, I mean, in the next second, um, I just saw my boyfriend was sleeping next to me. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, oh, that's quite scary, scary the one. So that's creepy. So, so are there any other person in the, in your living room? No, just me and my boyfriend. So that's the creepy point. Cause then, who was playing with my cat? So, in the living room? Okay. So who is the guy you can play with? I have no idea. Cause you know my cat usually play the tools, and she would make, you know, she would make. That, that special sound. Uh -huh. I heard, heard that voice. Are you sure uh -huh. you are awake? Are you sure you are awake? Are you still sleeping maybe or dreaming? That, yeah, maybe that's a dream. I have no idea. And I tell Who you what, you do? I, I never have this problem because I don't have girlfriend. So yeah, it's okay. <laughs> oh, sorry for but, you. But if you if you find someone like sleeping in the same bed bed with you, that's so creepy. <laughs> creepy if you don't have any girlfriend. <laughs> It doesn't matter. So, okay. is is there any anyone want to share the story? Any horror story happens to you or your friend or your family? Anyone? Hello, how are you? See you, my Philippines friend. Hello, how are you? Please take a seat. Hello, sit with us. Hi, how are you? Hi. Please take a seat. Hi, Sky. So, is there anyone want to share their story? Yeah, Sky just missed my horror story. Yeah, your horror story is great one. It's, it's really great one. Okay. Yeah, it's short, but since, it's creepy. Since I'm the yeah, host tonight, so I'm gonna share mine as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead. But this is not my my story. I heard from somewhere else, but it's it's very famous one. So the story, the story like this, and these things, it really happens in an apartment in a certain building in Hong Kong about 1917 or 1916 60 uh, I forget but the story was that the house owner would call the restaurant every 9 o'clock in the evenings to order a takeaway and every time the food delivery stopped 
knock on the door. The people in that room only opened a door gap. Listen, just a door gap. There was only enough for the lunchbox to enter. The food delivery staff always checked the amount of money to make sure he got the right amount. But when 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 they returned to the restaurant, get was they found that the cash he just received it had all turned into ghost coin. Ooh. So I know you're cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> so the. The delivery man so report this to his boss yes. immediately, and he boss of course if I if I was the boss I I won't believe him, so the boss don't didn't believe him, and the boss decide to deliver the meal in person, the next day. But the same things happen, the money he received turned into ghost coin again, and he report this to the police. After receiving the report, the police looked through the window of that apartment, and they saw this four headless man is playing card game in that room. Oh my god! And the building manager said that room is empty for a while, so there's no people inside. So that person's ordering. Take away every day. Yeah. So, so I I feel okay. I just finished my one. So does anyone want to share their story now? <laughs> anyone want yeah. to share their story? That, no. That story is quite is kind of like both scary and funny. So that person also need eat like a human beings food. <laughs> Okay, so. So do you take over every day? Is there anyone still still scaring now? Scaring now. So may I ask a no. question? So, um, how many girls are in this room? Me. Can, Can you please me. raise your hands, girls? Raise your hands. Well, I'm raising my turkey. Is this a turkey? I scrap a food. But oh, look, wait, 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 wait. Let me mark down the name. Okay, let me just take take some time. Okay, girls. If you feel scared and can't sleep at night, so please call Jeremy. I will give you my phone number later on. Okay, my phone no, will be available for girls twenty four seven. Okay, my phone will be available for no, girls twenty four seven. Okay. No, no, no. I, I don't okay? want your phone number. <laughs> I don't want your phone number either. No, and 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 the rest, the boys. Listen, Jeremy hotline is for girls only. If you feel scared. Or can't sleep at night, so please call nine one one or triple zero. Okay, thank you so much for that. Does anyone want a turkey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have, I have, I have, I do have one story, but I do know, I don't know, is it Gary or not? But I want to share to you guys. Why not? not Feel free to share a story. Yeah, Why not? A, yeah, yeah. Okay, alright, but I'm not the. Yeah, but I'm not a good storyteller, so yeah. So I will start my story now. So it is from my friend. So uh, when my friend was a child, her mom always told her something like, "You can never go to the basement basement room." So there is a basement room in their house、Ooh. house. So yeah, so never go to the. Hello. Which was making some noise in the basement room. So there are some noises from basement room, and the noise is quite like puppy noise. So it is quite like the noises from little dogs. So one day he is really curious about that. So she went downstairs and go to the basement room, and suddenly her mom appeared behind her, behind her. And become very angry and become crazy, very crazy and very angry. So my friend was very scary and quite very lonely. Then her mom gave her a cookie and told her never to go into the basement basement room again. So it is kind of like a clone clone her up. 
so、uh, calm her down. Sorry. So my friends hadn't told anyone. So there is a boy with no hands and no feet living in their basement room until her mom died. What? So that's my story. Is it scary? Is that a real story or just you fade up? I don't know. Oh come you on! Guys, that's you, you guys can guess. That's murder,、one. okay? That's murder. That's not fun. <laughs> Did you call it, the police? Is... <laughs> <laughs> Because her mom is already dead, so I don't know. I don't know if、huh? it's a re- real story or not. I hopefully that's. That is creepy. Yeah, that's an evil mother. I hopefully that's <laughs> fake. Okay, hopefully that's fake. Okay, okay. Hopefully it is fake one. That's crazy, you know. So actually, instead of just sitting here listening to a story, so how about we all go play few rounds of killing game together? How about that? Because I. Sure. And by the by the, the way, I just I just see you you just have infinite, you know, supply of snacks here. I just keep eating. Yeah, feel free to eat that. And because I got a lot of message, I got a lot of message in the Discord saying people want to join us. So really, yeah. So if you if you, if you guys so in the in the live stream room, if you guys still not one of our beta tester, so simply click the download link below and join us. Thank you. So we are moving to the killing game. So before we jump into the Slowstone Villa. I will show you guys an interesting feature in Paras Bay, which is the portal. The portal feature can help you teleport your friends from one world to another without creating a new room. So let me show you how to do that. The first things are you can click the setting in the upper right corner here. Okay, all right, and you will s- and. Select your next destination in the world selection here. We are going to play killing game, right? So、yeah. I'm gonna choose Slowstone Villa this time. So where where is where is the Slowstone Villa? Wednesday? Are you Wednesday? Okay, here we go. Hey, you found that? You recognized me. So look at the bottom left. You will see a portal icon in here. So click on that. And now you should be able to see it. You can place, place, place this portal everywhere you like. Maybe here or here.、Mm, I'm gonna place, play the portal here this time. Place. Ooh, cool. Oh. Just jumping. 